This is Chuck, Chuck Weschler with Sporting Classics Magazine. And uh, I was the editor of a brand new book by Duncan Doby here uh, called uh, The Dawn of American Deer Hunting, Volume 2. Uh, and it uh, is available in two editions. And uh, we're here uh, signing books for the uh, many hundreds of people that have already uh, purchased uh, the book. Uh, as I've been doing this, and while I was editing uh, the books, Duncan, you, I was constantly amazed at the number of interesting and old uh, photographs uh, of, of deer hunters and their deer. Uh, how were you able to get all these photographs? Well, I have, as a writer, I've been an outdoor writer for, gosh, longer than I want to think about, over 40 years now. And I have always been fascinated with old photos, old hunting, fishing photos. And a long time ago, I started collecting old deer hunting photos because that's my passion. And I start, as I started getting some of these old photos, I started realizing that a lot of these hit, the photos come from very historic areas like the Adirondack Mountains of northern New York, of northern Maine, such big deer hunting states, um, the upper Midwest, Minnesota, Michigan, mm -hmm. and Wisconsin. And those people in the, the turn of the century, late 1800s, and early 1900s, they were as passionate about deer hunting as we are today. Yeah, yeah. I think what's interesting too is uh, all of the captions that you've written, uh, almost all the captions identify the various rifles and shotguns that these people used. And also, back then, they just took a deer and put it on the front of their Packard or whatever, the old cars. and. Uh, the, all of the captions identify the rifles and the cars. Your knowledge of rifles has got to be extensive. Well, there again, <laughs> uh, it was it was kind of a labor of love because I've always been interested in old things, old fishing tackle, old rifles, old deer hunting equipment, the old stuff, old turkey calls. The old stuff is always, even when I was a teenager, I loved the old stuff. And so I've, I've had a passion for some of the older rifles. Of course, I grew up hunting with some of those older mm -hmm. rifles. And my knowledge is really not that extensive. I just did a lot of research and I checked <laughs> and double checked to try to be right. And I'm sure along the way, I probably made a few mistakes, but um, I tried very hard to be accurate. And if I wasn't sure of something, I didn't just make a de definitive yeah. statement. Yeah. Well, all of those captions are just so much fun to read. I know that uh, people that purchase this book will really love it because it's got a lot of uh, wonderful uh, photographs and copy in it that uh, is will entertain for hours on end. When this book, when, when the first volume of Dawn of American Deer Hunting came out, I really, I had no idea how people, how the public, how deer hunters across America would respond to the book because I knew I loved old photos, but I didn't know if, if everybody else would, would love looking at the same photos that I loved. And so it was kind of a test for me. And mm -hmm. I was astonished and shocked to find out <laughs> that people love these photos. They wrote letters and yeah. they would tell me about their grandfather hunting in the early 1900s with his old 3030. And they would send pictures of uh, old rifles. And so, uh, I think a lot, especially older deer hunters, the older generation, but even a lot of younger guys have been so just are fascinated with the books, the history, and a lot of the old the yeah. old photos that they can read about. Yeah, for sure. Well, it's been a fun project. I enjoyed working with you immensely. Well, I have yeah. enjoyed working with you, thank John. You. I can't thank you yeah. enough. This book is a dream come true for me, and... I thank you and Sporting Classics. I am so thrilled to have Sporting Classics Good. as a publisher and know that um, you're interested in marketing the book and getting it out so people can see it. And uh, it's, it was just a really fun project for me to do. Good. Okay. Thank you.